I got two drinks. Uh -huh. And then I got two orders of french fries. And two hamburgers. And Does that look like very much food? No. no. Compared to what we have, no. Your guys' cost less than this takeout meal. I, I honestly thought it would have been like, gum. With all of this food all together. I can't believe all that money that we just spent would only pay for two combos. So how are you going to cook it? In the microwave or the regular oven? Which way do you want to cook it? Mm, the regular oven. Okay, so what does it say you need to do? Preheat oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Convection bake. Okay. What temperature came on? 300 Fahrenheit. 350 Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. And then start. Or start. Yeah. Okay. So it's got to heat up. Yeah. What do you have to do next? Remove film from the chicken nuggets, fries, and brownie. Get it in film of a coin. Punch. You're going to make some punch? Yep. How do you make the punch? Um, I'm, I'm you have to put this in, then to do some cold water, I'm guessing. Did you read the directions? For this? Yes. No oh. instructions. I have three cans of cold water. So, that means you have to open this mm -hmm. and dump all of the syrup in here. Okay. And then you need to fill this up three times with water. Are you able to do that? Yep. Now, okay. how do you want to do that? How does it open? I can smell it right now. You can see it. Oh, oh. Mm. One. That's a lot of juice. Looks like you're going to have a lot to drink. So you need to put the lid on. Okay. My brownie melted. Oh. And Dad was hoping for one. You think he's going to eat your brownie? Nope. So you need to keep the film on the corn, but take it off everywhere else. Yeah. You're going to have to poke it. Oh. <laughs> that scared you. <laughs> And then you're going to peel it, right? Mm -hmm. you peel it off. And you're going to have to cut along here because we want to leave it on your corn. Mm -hmm. So maybe you want some scissors. Once you've done the plastic film, what do you have to do? What does the direction say? Place tray on baking sheet or middle oven rack. Cook 30 minutes. So you need to go get a cookie sheet to put it on. Do you think Savannah made a good choice? Yep. With the chocolate. Because she has chocolate. It's not even a brownie anymore. It's chocolate. Mm, looks like a brownie with chocolate syrup. So are you eating both of these lasagnas mm. for dinner? But I have to see how much it is in each. Well, it's this amount. And Would you like to cook one? And then if you're still hungry... Yeah, I'll do another. So the other one should stay in the freezer. For now. Or the fridge. In the freezer. Okay. So what do you have to do with this? Put the tray on... Um, the cooking sheet in the middle of the pan. Okay, so can you put this into the oven? Yeah. 
Okay, remember the inside of the oven is hot. Yeah. It has to go the other direction. Yeah, that's right. Okay, close it up. How long does it have to be in for? 30 minutes. Should we set the timer? Yes. Okay, so we want to put push timer on and then you want to put three zero and start so that's timing it for 30 minutes what did you learn doing the shopping that we have to stay on budget and the pairs were a dollar and the bananas were 25 cents so you got six bananas for 25 cents yep. and it would have cost you a dollar for one pair yeah. so it's important to look at the sales isn't it yeah because then you could land up with more food so have you read the directions yep it says right here for microwave lift one corner of the cover to let the steam escape then microwave on high 100 percent for two to one two to two minutes open lid stir past and sauce recover and then to cook on high for initial one one to one that means one to two minutes three let's stand for one to two minutes before surfing pull off cover stir and enjoy use cushion when opening in hot steam okay so what was the caution what do we have to be hot care steam okay could hot steam burn you yep so we have to be careful of that. Mm -hmm. So are you doing this in the microwave? Yep. Okay. Can you lift one corner up? Like that? Yes. And put it in the microwave for two minutes. That'll be so delicious. You think so? Yep. What did you learn doing this shopping? Um um, 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 it is good to um, see how much you spend of a budget. So keeping in the budget was important for yep. you. And I got so much and less lesser than 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 okay. than um than 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 five dollars. You got so much food for less than five dollars. Yeah. Did that surprise you? Nope. Or did you think? You would get lots of food for five dollars. A lot, I guess. Because some of you brothers and sisters didn't think they would get enough food for dinner. Hmm. Did you get enough for dinner? Yep. Way more than enough. Well, that's good. Now you have to open it up and stir it? Yep. Then put it again in for okay. two and a half minutes. So how many waffles are in your box? Eight. Is eight too many for dinner? A meal? No. Yes. Yes. So how many is a good number for a meal? One. Maybe two? Yeah. And then you have your bananas as well? Yeah. And so then you will have how many more meals? If you have two, three. <laughs> you have three more meals? Well that would be good. Mm -hmm. So can we get out two waffles? Okay. That's a lot of waffles, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to eat that much. You could have two or three for dinner. Three! Okay, let's get three out. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> okay. So Got three! Oh, that looks smaller than three. One, two, one, two, three. I'm going to put the rest into the bag. We have to wrap it up well, otherwise it's going to get freezer burn. Yeah. Then it won't taste good. Yours is done? Yep. Okay, be careful not to spill it on your head. I know that. So are you going to go eat? Yep. 
So we need to read the directions, Laura, because these yeah. are cold frozen waffles. Yeah. Okay. So we need to read the directions. So it says you can cook it with a toaster. Yeah. Would that be a good way? Yeah. Can you get the toaster? Here's the toaster. Okay, do you know how to plug it in? No. You don't know how to plug in this plug? No. I've never done it before. Okay, can you plug it into the wall, please? Yeah. Then you need to put your waffles into each hole. Okay. And then you need to push the buttons down so they toast. Really? Now you need to wait for it to t pop up, okay? okay. Good meal. So, how are you planning on eating these? Are you slicing the banana on top? Yeah. Or are you eating them whole? Slicing them. Okay, so you're going to need to get a knife. So, how many bananas are you going to eat at dinner? Two. Okay, can you go get your two bananas? And I like to have an orange too. So, would you like the bananas sliced on top of your waffles yeah. and the orange on the side? Yeah. Okay, can you get your oranges open? Yeah. Can you help me please? Are we allowed? How many do you need? One. Good idea. You got a lot of oranges for a dollar, didn't you? <laughs> can you open up your bananas and slice them? Yeah. To go on your waffles? Yeah. Like that? That's a good way to slice them. Like that? Okay. Practicing some good skills? Yeah. Practicing your cutting and your peeling. Hey. Yum yum. There's Laura's dinner. Are you happy with your choice? Yes. What did you learn shopping today? Um, to get our own food. You learned how to get your own food. Yes. Um, I think I'm gonna do microwave. Okay. So what does it say for the microwave? It says microwave remove. Remove tray from carton and cut film to vent. And then cook on high for five minutes. Peel back film, mix pasta with sauce, recover, return to cook on high to one and a half, one minute to one and a half minutes. You're going to need a little bit of help, aren't you? Can you read? I can't read. No, so who should read it for you? Okay, let's turn it over. Okay. We're going to put yours in the microwave. That's that? No, the one over there. So I'm going to do your cooking, okay? But you can get your banana ready and your yogurt yeah. drink. Banana, strawberry. You have your drink and three bananas. Are you eating all three bananas at yeah. dinner? Yeah. You're like a monkey. <laughs> what was the best part about shopping for your dinner? I got that you got a yogurt drink. I got chocolate, banana drink, banana, banana, banana. So that was the best part of shopping for you. Yeah. What did you learn shopping today? That you can actually get quite a bit with only five dollars in a store nowadays. Did you think? When we said $5 for your dinner, did you think you would get this much food? No. 
I honestly thought you might get like one microwave meal and maybe a banana and nothing else. And um, you were shopping, looking for some vegetables to go with your lasagna. Mm -hmm. What happened with that? So the veggies cost too much compared to 10 cents a bunch of bananas. So 10 cents a pound. 10, 10 cents a pound. So the bananas were on sale for a really good price. Yes. So is it important to look at the sales when you're trying to figure out what you're going to eat? Yes. So you're going to put it on a plate so you don't burn yourself? Yeah, and then cut film to vent. So you're going to put a couple slices in here. Okay. So the steam comes out and doesn't burn you. So do I have to like put the power level on high or anything like that? It's already on high. Okay, it's been five minutes. And then after five minutes, what do you have to do? I have to peel back the film, mix it all up, and then put it back in there for another minute to a half, to a minute and a half. Okay, when you're peeling that film, there's steam underneath. Mm -hmm. So what can steam do to you? Burn you. It can, that's right. Bananas, chubby yogurt, and three bananas and crust cheese. Macaroni and cheese? Macaroni and cheese. Are you happy with what you chose? Do you think you did a really good shop job shopping? How does your meal taste? Good. Did you do a good job choosing? Yeah. It was so hard to choose. Was it? There were so many choices? Yeah. You didn't know what to pick? No. How much are you eating? Two. So you're going to eat two of these? Yeah. How do you have to cook them? Did you read? In a microwave. So you know how to do it? Yeah. So did you turn it over and look at the directions? Left to one corner of the corner of the cover to let the steam escape. Microwave on high 100% for two to 12 minutes, open it, stir pasta and sauce, recover it, and continue to cook on high for an additional one to one and a half minutes. Okay, so can you get it opened up? The corner opened up to vent, and then you can cook yours when Cheyenne's is done. Okay. And you should be able to fit both of yours in the microwave at the same time. And it's a good idea if you put them on a plate so you can pick up the plate okay. instead of those hot containers. So the timer just went. What do you need on your hands? Mittens. Okay, can you get some? Huh? Do you have three hands? <laughs> <laughs> So be careful when you're lifting it that you don't pour it on yourself. Yeah. Carefully pull this back because it can burn. See all that steam? Yeah. Hmm, it smells good though. <gasps> I think you should do it because I'm like. Oh You're nervous of doing it? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. So your brownies all cooked now? Yep. And you're gonna have a bit of ketchup? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh no, there's a thief. There's a thief. <laughs> He's come to get your food. <laughs> hey, put your ketchup on. What's this? Catch that thief. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy with your choice? Yeah. It looks delicious. And you're ready to cook yours? Yeah. How long do you have to put it in for? So Dean. Yeah. What are you going to cook? Pierogies. Pierogies. So have you read the directions? No. Do not deep fry it or fully submerge in different oil. Reheat it only as Directed in the pipe. So, Dean, yeah. 
What does it mean you have to do? Um, so I have to put it into the frying pan and then spray it down with dark and oil and then butter it. Okay, there's a really bad cat here that's not supposed to be on the counter. This is Gizmo, by the way. This is Gizmo? Yeah. Gizmo is... She, Gizmo's not allowed on the counter. No. So you need a frying pan. Are you cooking all of these pierogies for one meal? Or um, are you going to have them for more than one meal? More than one meal. Okay, so can you go get the small cast iron frying pan? Okay. So, did it say to pull it right open? I think so. So you have to pull it open so that it's just attached on this end. Do you think all of this lasagna is going to fill you up? Yeah. Is it smelling delicious? Yeah. So then you put the cardboard down and cook it a bit more. Okay. So I would try two more minutes because you have double, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Yeah. Get the How do you put oil? Well, what does it say? It says alternate oil. Did you learn anything on this challenge? Yeah. What did you learn? That um, your cost a little bit more than all oil. So take out food, you don't get as much for your money? Yeah. Were you surprised at that? Yeah. So Dana, are you cutting or are you trying to tear it? Trying to cut it. It looked like tearing because you weren't using your scissors up and down. So is there a big enough hole to get some out? Yeah. Your frying pan and oil's getting hot. Okay. So when you put them in, it might sizzle a little bit. I better use some tongs. Some tongs? We need that ready and that will that some parties. I don't thank you, but you could ask dad. Do you think that's enough for you to eat? Mm -hmm. It's a big enough meal for you? Eight progies? Yeah. And you have some left? Mm-hmm. So when are you gonna eat the rest? One for batter tomorrow, one for nut tomorrow, one for you're having, yeah, no. you're having pierogies for breakfast? Ew. Right. Some people do that. I don't know that anybody does that. Right. Some people have leftovers if they turn that pain oh. it. Oh, some people have leftovers for breakfast? Yeah. Okay. You brought my uh, pierogies. You burnt them. Because you're the one cooking them. Hmm? I'm not cooking them, you are. I finished all five bananas. You had five bananas? Yes. Chicken nuggets, french fries, corn, yes. and a brownie? Yes. You're going to explode. <laughs> what was the best thing about this challenge? Um, making my own food and hanging out with the family. You like shopping, don't you? Yeah. Walmart used to be your favorite store in the world. When you were little, mm -hmm. you would ask to go there all the time. You think those are almost done? Yep. So you're going to need your plate. Mm -hmm. I don't know how my produce taste. I don't know. How do you think they taste? Good. Delicious? Mm -hmm. Best pierogies ever? Mm -hmm.